Hello, everyone. This is Mary Hart with the Alternative Investing Movement, and I'm going to talk to you today about the four ways to produce income and which of those ways is best if you are working on your journey to personal financial freedom. I'm going to base this on Robert Kiyosaki's book, The Cash Flow Quadrant, and uh, I highly recommend that if you're looking for financial freedom, that is a great book to read. Again, it's Robert Kiyosaki, Cash Flow Quadrant. And I would definitely pick that up, read it, dog ear it, highlight in it, and uh, work on your journey for personal financial freedom. So what are those four ways to basically produce income? There are four quadrants, his cash flow quadrant. You're either an employee, you're self-employed, you're a business owner, or you're an investor. So let me repeat those again. You can be either an employee, you can be self-employed, you can be a business owner or you can be an investor. Some people are only one of those four things. Some people are multiples of those four things. You can be in more than one quadrant. The best quadrants to be in to achieve financial freedom are the business owner quadrant and the investor quadrant. We're gonna talk about why that is. Let's start with employee. Most of us start out when we're young, we're coming out of school and we, we need a job. We need to be able to pay for our own way. So we become an employee of someone else. We don't necessarily have the skill set yet to start our own business. So we become an employee. And that means that we put our time and what skills we do have to work making money for someone else. There's nothing wrong with that. Some people are an employee their whole lives and they enjoy it. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. But your success in a job depends on your time. First of all, if you're not working, you're not getting paid. And it also depends on the success of the business that you work for. And to some degree on the attitude and the whim of the business owner, whether they choose to keep you on as an employee, how they choose to treat their employees. So being an employee is really a lack of control. You might love your job, but you're not really in control. You don't get paid if you're not working and you don't really get to dictate how you work. You work the way that your boss tells you to work. So that is probably the worst way to produce income if your goal is financial freedom. The next step in that cash flow quadrant is to become self-employed. So at some point, if you get tired of working for someone else, you may decide you want to start your own business and be self-employed. You become your own boss. But unless you have a true business, which I'm going to define in a little bit, you really haven't worked much towards the way of financial freedom. You've given yourself some flexibility, but now you own your job. It's not a job working for someone else. You're working for yourself, but it's still a job. If you're not there, uh, you're not making money. For instance, when I was practicing lawyer and I ran my own law firm, um, I was still a practicing attorney. So if I wasn't in my chair or meeting with clients, doing the legal work, I wasn't going to get paid. So I owned a job. I did not build that business up to the level of a true business, which I'm going to define in a moment. I bought myself a job. So it was better than working for someone else in a way. I had a little bit more control, but the honest truth is that I worked longer and harder as the self-employed person than I ever did working for someone else where I could literally clock out at the end of the day and go home. So what's the next quadrant? The next quadrant towards financial freedom is being a business owner. Now you might say you are a business owner when you're self-employed because you technically own the entity that employs you. But unless you truly have the systems and the people in place to allow that business to run without your constant presence or supervision, you don't really own a business, you own a job. So. Being a true business owner is one when you have these systems and processes in place and a team of employees in place that will allow that business to run without your constant supervision or just minimal supervision. You could go to Europe for a month and that business still functions just fine without you. So that's closer to financial freedom. You've scaled up into a true business that can run on its own without you. And you are leveraging the time and efforts of your employees uh, through the systems that you've created to create cash flow without your constant presence. So that is the third quadrant in the cash flow quadrant, and it's one we all might want to strive to towards. But the Mac Daddy of all those uh, cash flow quadrants, and really the one that I am in now and striving for to get even better in, is an investor. Because when you own, when you are an investor, you own investments. And rather than uh, your people working for you, your employees working for you, your investments are working for you. That is the true uh, definition of passive income. When your investments are making money for you 24 hours a day, 
whether you're awake or asleep, paying attention to what's going on in your investments or sitting on the beach with a rum drink. It doesn't matter. Your investments are like little soldiers out there making money for you every day, 24 hours a day. That is the loftiest goal we all want to have true financial freedom or time freedom. So take a look at your situation. Are you an employee? Are you self-employed? Are you a true business owner or are you an investor? And where do you want to be? What's the next step in your journey? If you're an employee, do you want to work towards self-employed? Do you want to work to be a build a build, excuse me, being a business owner? Or do you want to work towards just being an investor and skip the rest of it? So pick up that book, Robert Kiyosaki's Cash Flow Quadrant, if you want more in-depth analysis of these quadrants and identify where you are and figure out the steps necessary to go further in your journey for, for financial freedom and what I also call time freedom. Hope that helps. Have a great day.